Selling a digital product is the best way to get freedom. You don't have any clients breathing down your neck with tight deadlines, and you don't have a boss who tells you what to work on, when to work, and when you can take days off. And for us web designers, I believe the best digital product we can sell is website templates, and in my case, more specifically, framer templates. Up until May of this year, I've already made $33,811 selling framer templates. You see, this is the best time to start in this business because thousands of beginners are discovering Framer every day. The best way for them to start is through templates. So if you're a web designer who wants to start selling digital products, then this video is perfect for you because we will cover how you can design, publish, and market your first Framer template. Just a quick note, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for starting your Framer template business. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. First, why Framer templates are such a great opportunity. Now, as we said, you will avoid all of the headaches that come with working with clients or with having a day job. You will basically work as much as you want to on projects you like without anybody telling you what to do except the market. Now, another huge benefit to selling templates is that it's infinitely scalable. Basically, you make a template once and then you can sell it as many times as you can. Another big benefit is that Framer is quickly growing in popularity. In fact, the last few months, it's been overtaking Webflow and Google Trends and it will only keep growing as Framer gets better and better and more people are switching from other platforms to Framer. In fact, Framer has its own dedicated marketplace page where you can list your templates and get their traffic for free. And on top of that, they have a very generous affiliate program which gives you 50% commissions on all subscriptions you bring in through your templates. So if this doesn't convince you that Framer templates are the best digital products we can sell as web designers, then I don't know what will. Okay, now what makes a template sell? See, I have templates that have sold as little was $500 of revenue and others that have sold upwards of five, six thousand dollars And that's without counting the affiliate revenue they bring in. But what separates a template that generates 5,000 with a template that generates 500? You see, in my opinion, and from what I've personally seen, it mainly comes down to design and how impressive the template looks. That's because when somebody is on Framers Marketplace and they're looking for a template and they see your design, which for example, might be good, but is not anything too outstanding, and then they go back, they see another template, and then that template just blows them away. They're obviously going to buy the template that blows them away. So the most important part about any template is its design and how impressive it looks. Now, another big part that plays into how much your template sells is the niche that it's in. This is because if your template is in a niche that is too focused and too small, then obviously a lot less people will have a use for your template. For example, if you're selling a template, let's say for people who fix pools or clean pools, for example, how many pool cleaners would realistically go to Framer and try to look for a template and build a website themselves? Chances are they will not be many. But on the other hand, other niches where the founders are more technically savvy are generally more profitable. So niches like the agency niche and all of the sub niches like video editing agencies, graphic design agencies, or AI automation agencies are great because the founders are more likely to try and build their own website. Other niches like that are the portfolio niche and the SaaS niche. Now, how how do you actually build a template and I'm actually going to share my personal process that I follow for every single one of my templates. So first we need to pick a niche because we need to know who we're building it for and we need to know what to include in that template so that it's useful for our audience. So I would recommend to simply stick to what works and go for an agency template, a portfolio template or a SaaS template. After that I usually start doing some research to find some inspiration for the style of the template. The main websites I use are sitespo.com, SaaS landing page.com, Pinterest, and maybe Behance and Dribble from time to time. Now, a very key detail here is that I would also recommend for you to not only look at websites because you can find some valuable ideas from other types of media as well. Recently, I've started looking at more posters and maybe magazine covers and things like that so I can come up with a bit more unique layouts and design ideas. Now, after I have my inspiration, I usually jump into Figma and start designing the website. Now, a lot of people actually start designing straight 
Grid and Framer. But for me personally, I like to start with Figma because it gives me more freedom and I can experiment a lot faster until I get to a look that I like. And when I have all of my pages designed in Figma, I move to Framer to actually develop the website, which is a pretty straightforward process, but sometimes you might need to make some adjustments because there are cases where you design something in Figma that looks good on a static page, but once you translate it into Framer, it might not fit. So you obviously have to make some small changes. Very important detail about Framer development for templates is that you have to try to be as simple as possible with your development. You don't want any unnecessary elements, any unnecessary layers that complicate the project because you have to keep in mind that this template will be most likely used by beginners and you want to be as simple as possible. You also have to make sure that your template follows Framer's template requirements and I will leave a link to that in the description so you can check them out and then make sure your template ticks all of the boxes. After your template is developed, it's time to package it up and actually submit it. Now, what do I mean by packaging it up? So if you go to Framer Marketplace, you see every template has its own thumbnail. And the reason why that's important is because we want our thumbnail to be attractive enough so people can click on it, explore the template, and then buy it. This is almost like designing a thumbnail for YouTube because if your thumbnail isn't attractive, no one will click it and no one will watch your video. And if you actually go to Framer's trending page, you will see that most of the top positions are filled with templates with cool looking thumbnails. Now, what I've personally noticed is that your hero section design actually plays a big part in your thumbnail. So this is another reason why you should really focus on the design phase and make sure your hero section is really visually attractive and makes people want to click on it. I mean, there's other tricks you can do to make your thumbnails more attractive, like using mockups or adding some more interesting elements. But generally, your hero section design is the key thing for a good thumbnail. After we have our thumbnail, it's time to submit it to the marketplace, which is pretty simple. You simply go to Framer, fill out all of the fields, and then you submit your template and wait for it to be reviewed. Now, it might take a few days and up to a week for the Framer team to go through your template and get back to you, but also keep in mind that there is a chance that they might outright reject your template if it doesn't meet Framer's requirements. I've personally spoke to the Framer template team and they've told me that they try to keep a very high standard of templates. And if you scroll through Twitter just for a little on the Framer side of Twitter, you'll see a lot of people are complaining about their templates being rejected. But personally, I believe that this is a good thing because this way the marketplace will get saturated a lot slower. And if your template gets accepted, then that means it's a high quality template that will most likely get sales. Don't get discouraged if you get rejected the first few times because that's exactly what happened in my case as well. My first three or four templates didn't get accepted into the marketplace, but I didn't give up and my fifth template in my second or third month of starting this business actually ended up generating around $3,000 of revenue in that same month. So just don't give up. It might be discouraging, but if you know that this is what you want to do, just don't give up and it will happen for you. After the template is submitted, what I usually like to do is record a tutorial video. This is because as we said, most likely a beginner will be using your template and they won't know how to effectively customize it and you don't want them to give up and then not launch their website with your template. So these videos are pretty simple. You can see them on my channel. I basically walk you through every single part of the template and how you can customize it. Also, I have an email automation set up that first sends them a link to the tutorial into the Figma file. And then a few days later, it automatically sends them an email just to check in and see if they have any questions and if there's anything I can help them with. Okay, now our template is submitted to the Framer Marketplace, but is there any other places where you can sell your template? Now, although Framer's Marketplace is amazing, it has tons of traffic and people on there have very high intent because if somebody is browsing the template marketplace page, then they are specifically looking for a template and they're more likely to convert. But it does have its downsides. For example, first and the most obvious thing is the competition. You're competing with hundreds of other creators that are all fighting for that same customer. And also you don't really fully own the traffic. If for some reason Framer in the future make any change changes to the marketplace, you can't do anything about that and you simply have to deal with it. So another thing that I would recommend is to build your own template store. And this is especially powerful if you plan on investing in it and investing in your personal brand and growing your own website. Me personally, I've been investing in SEO for the last year and a half and currently I'm getting around 1000 to 1500 clicks from Google every single month to my website. And even though I get this amount of traffic, still the majority of my sales come through the Framer Marketplace. There's also other 
options like listing your template on other marketplaces like UI8 or similar, but I haven't done that personally and I can't really recommend it. Now, next up is how to price your templates because pricing is actually very important. You see, for the majority of my framework template business, I used to price my templates anywhere around 30 to 70 to 80 dollars maybe and most of my templates were priced on the lower um, end of that estimate most of them were around 39 in march or april of this year i decided to price all of my templates at 79 dollars and i expected that to actually have an impact on how much sales i'm getting but actually i ended up getting even more sales and therefore getting more revenue for the same exact templates and i think this is because having a higher price point automatically makes your template seem more premium in the eyes of the customer. Also, another added benefit to having a higher price on your template is that your customer will be way more invested in it and they will want to see it through and actually publish their website. Therefore, you will be getting affiliate rewards from that template as well. So I would say the sweet spot is anywhere between $70 to $100 because anything over that I think will be hard to justify. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that free templates can also be a very powerful tool to get more revenue. This is because they get used way more often and the chances of someone publishing their website with your free template are generally higher because let's say if 100 people use your template, maybe 10 will get a subscription and then from these 10, you will get 50% for the first year. It's still a very powerful source of income. Personally, I try to launch at least one free and one paid template every month. This ensures you always have money coming in from both sources. Now, next up, how do you actually market your template outside of the free? framework marketplace. Now, one thing I would 100% recommend is to try to build in public approach, which basically means you post your progress, what you're working on every single day on Twitter or LinkedIn. Personally, I use only Twitter. And this way you can get engagement from other designers and some people may come across your template and decide that it's something they want to use. So it's a great tool to have in your arsenal for marketing. And it doesn't really take that much time. You basically work on your template. You take a few screenshots, you post them on Twitter and you try to engage with others. Another thing I do is I post all of my Twitter posts also on Pinterest. Now, I'm not sure how much of that traffic is super valuable because mostly designers use Pinterest for inspiration, but I am currently getting around 200,000 views on Pinterest every month. So it might be something worth checking out. Now, how do you actually scale this type of business? Obviously, I think consistency is the most key part about it because the more templates you have, the more more they're being used, the more money you're making. So I would recommend to launch at least one to two templates every month and try to focus on really nailing the design part down because this is the most important thing as we discussed in this video. Basically, even though it's not a job, technically you have to treat it like a job. You can't launch one template one week and then three weeks out of the month, just slack off and not work on your skills. You have to really be locked in and really invest your time in perfecting your craft. Now, if you can design great looking templates, I believe you could easily make $2,000 to $3,000 a month in your first two to three months selling framer templates. And this is being super realistic. I've seen people on Twitter do that time and time and time again. So if you're good at design, if you can design great websites, then you can make this amount of money with framer templates easily if you're consistent and if your templates are actually great. Okay, so this pretty much covers the video for today. And if you're serious about it and you want to really stop with the excuses and get on a rigorous eight week journey where I will personally guide you and coach you into launching your first two profitable templates and your own template store in the next eight weeks, then click the link in the description to learn more and book your free call.